in, in life and has cherished the gospel of Christ. In Christ, let us greet her with these words of eternal life. Come, blessed of my Father. Brothers and sisters, we believe that all the ties of friendship and affection which made us as much as we like, do not unravel with death. Lord, in our grief, we turn to you as we, as you are not a God of, as you are not the God of love who opens your ears to all. Are you not the God of love? Listen to our prayers for your servant, Alice, whom you have called out of this world. Lead her to your kingdom of light and peace and count her among the saints of glory. We ask this to Christ our Lord. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, on behalf of Father John on my own behalf, we extend to you our sincere sympathy for the death of your mother and grandmother. We extend our sympathy to our sisters, Mary and Eileen, to our brother Jimmy and his wife Tess, and all the grandchildren, the extended family of cousins and nephews and nieces, we extend our sincere sympathy. I welcome you all to this uh, Requiem Mass for Alice, as we all know and lament. As a number permitted to attend the funeral mass is down to 10. In many cases where there's large families, some will have to volunteer not to attend their, their funerals of their parents or siblings. I regret this, this but even though the reason for it we all know is a very good one, Try to slow the spread of COVID-19. However, the day and it's a wet day like that, and see the people standing outside in the rain and they can't even come into their church. It's not right. There's something wrong. <clears throat> uh, we can take it there are there are many people praying with us all around this area. People whom Alice was good to, people whom Alice visited and people she was generous to. They're all with us in spirit today praying that the gentle soul of Alice will continue on his journey to the home and to the home in heaven. That number comes at the right time. It'll either come suddenly, we we're not expecting, or it'll come slowly. But when it comes, it's final. It's irre irrevocable. So it's a privilege for me to be here with the family, praying that her life of faith, her beautiful life of faith, which began 85 years ago in the waters of baptism, in North, probably, or in the North Lay, um, we pray that that, that uh, life will, will continue. And, um, it was a life that was strengthened by all the masses Alice went to, all the funeral masses she attended. 
He would not only attend the Mass, he'd be there early for the recitation of the Rosary before Mass. And it was just one in a million. All we can console us with it is that death is not the end, neither does it break the bonds forged in our lives. We never forget, Alice, the true Christian. The Christian that was not only it was not only prayer, it was action in the community, helping others, reaching out to others, noticing the, the person who needed uh, some help. And she would have a little package left for them. Alice was born in Stranagarby, over the road here. I lived all her life in the Snitborough community. She was the youngest of seven children. And from the very young age, Alice was the primary carer of her mother, who was an invalid, and lived with Alice until death. Alice met uh, Jim Ahi as he was traveling along the road to the old quarry. She would be cycling probably from Stranagarby over to her, her cottage on the Spitper Road. <clears throat> and he'd, he'd honk the horn at her. So that was the, the romance that time. And, and it ended up for, in marriage in 1966. He had five children, Geraldine, Desi, Noreen, Eileen, and Danny. Geraldine and Eileen are abroad, so they could, because of the COVID, they couldn't come. So we extend our special sympathy to them. It goes without saying that Alice was a, a, a dedicated wife, mother and grandmother. She was at her happiest, surrounded by her family and preferably feeding them. Alice was a great friend to all who knew her. Always welcoming everyone to her home with open arms. It was over the last few days her family started to realize just how many people had talked to Alice and confided in her. Her greatest strength was her ability to love. She loved everyone your ability to nurture, to mother everyone she met. She was known near and far, and especially for her homemade buns and apple tarts. She was a, a, a lifelong friend of the Pioneer Totten Absences Association. Alice lost her husband at the early age when the family ranged from nine years to 17 years. Indeed, she had to go to get over finding him dead. Her man died at work. Over the last 36 years, Alice had been both mother and father to her family. Only keeping Jim's memory alive. Alice's faith was unwavering. It was an absolute dedication for her that, that was the cornerstone of her life. It brought her through her sickness. 
cancer that she got for many years and it has fought it long and hard. It was our faith and our love for Jesus and our love for the Mass and our daily communion that got her through. Not only would you come to Mass, but you nearly always have somebody in the car. She bring Brady down, who Brady lost her brother there. Recently, Jimmy, so we extend our sympathy to Brady, Brady told. We, uh, Alice, our self, had no fear of death because she was so close to God. It was just a death was a, an opportunity to get closer again. Alice was petite and in stature, quiet by nature, but a huge presence in our community. We never come to know all the blessings that those attendants of us and those prayers and rosaries and brought on, uh, on the whole community. We thank Alice for all that. And please go and she not forget us yet. Now, were it not for COVID-19, this church would be absolutely and totally full. And all those people outside in the rain, yeah. when you love to have them all in here praying, for, praying for, with us and for us, that she may enjoy eternal rest and peace, and that we may learn from, from our good example. She was a model question. Amen. So we begin the, the Mass. <clears throat> Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetuate stain upon her. Let us pause for a moment. And now we say the, the act of sorrow. Oh my God, I thank you for loving me. I am sorry for all my sins, for not loving others, not loving you. Help me to let Jesus not sin again. Amen. Let us pray, O oh God, Almighty Father, our faith professes that your Son died and rose again. Mercifully grant that through this mystery of your servant, Alice May, who has who has fallen asleep in Christ, may rejoice in to rise again through Him who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Let us sit now and listen to the Word of God. A reading from the book of Ecclesiastes. For everything there is a season, and a time for every matter under heaven. A time to be born, and a time to die. A time to plant, and a time to root off what was planted. A time to break down, and a time to build up. A time to weep, and a time to laugh. A time to mourn, and a time to dance. A time to embrace, and a time to refrain from embracing, a time to seek and a time to lose, a time to keep and a time to discard, a time to tear and a time to sow, a time to keep silence and a time to speak. God has made everything suitable for its time. The word of the Lord. Thank you. 
book of Revelations. I, John, heard a voice from heaven say to me, write down, happy are those who die in the Lord. Happy are those who die in the Lord. Happy indeed, the Spirit says. Now they can rest forever after their work, since their good deeds go with them. The word of the Lord. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, Lord. This gospel is about being prepared for the Lord's coming. And nobody was better prepared than, than Alice for that. <clears throat> it was about the the sixth hour, when the sun eclipsed, darkness came over the whole land until the ninth hour, and the veil of the temple was torn right down the middle. When Jesus had cried out in a loud voice, he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. With these words, he breathed in his last. Uh, then a member of the council arrived, an upright, virtuous and man named Joseph. This man went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. He then took it down, wrapped it in a shroud, and put it in a tomb which was hewn in stone, in which no one had yet been laid. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There is some prayers of the faithful.
We pray for the sick at home and in hospitals that they may experience Christ's presence with them. Lord, hear us. Lord, please hear us. For those who are at the service of Granny in her illness, doctors, nurses, carers, that we may receive God, that they may receive God's grace and assistance. Lord, hear us. Lord, please hear us. Let us pray for all who mourn Granny's death. Comfort them in sorrow. Fill the emptiness and sadness in their hearts with presence of your love. Lord, hear us. As we remember Granny Alice, a good and generous person created in the image and likeness of God, may we always know and recognize God in every person we meet. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. Let us pray in thanksgiving for the life of Granny Alice, for all the love she gave and for all the good ways through which she touched the lives of others. May Granny be found worthy of the gift of eternal life. Lord, hear us. We pray for Granny and all the, dece all the deceased, those we have loved and, and cherished, and others with no one to remember them. Let us pray for Granda Jim and all the deceased members of the Ahi and Leonard families. May God welcome them into the radiant light of his presence. sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Let us pray. As we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Alice, we beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving saviour may find in him a merciful judge. We ask this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. With 
Lift up your heart. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. <clears throat> And in eternal God, for you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children, for the poor, for the sick and the sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our Father, and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so would all the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the high. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all and make them holy. And you never cease to gather people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, <coughs> graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he said the blessing, gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for all, for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world. God, the resurrection you have set us. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we were nourished by the body and blood of your Son, filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one spirit, one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, 
blessed Joseph was buried with the blessed apostles and glorious martyrs. With all the saints on his constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O oh Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity of Pilgrim Church on earth with your servant, Francis, our Pope, Lords, our Bishop, the older bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion and mercy, my Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed Alice and all the others who have died at this time, Jimmy Connolly and Clonus, and uh, <coughs> so many others in our community, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory to Christ our Lord, to whom we bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Guyamish Koranahar, Fuimar Wun, or Sloan, you're doing a Yanif. Arnya Hiratar now, Kanefidanyam, Kadaga the Riyuk, Vinyanta the Hiratar, Marinyantar on ya. Arnara Leh will tour doing a new, because by doing our Biaka, our Wai Majina, our Bakun of Fain, Vinani Shinigahu, Seer Shinigahu. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be all as free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. With your Lamb of God. Take away sins and world mercy. <laughs> Lamb of God, take away sins and world mercy. Lamb of God. Take away the sins of the world, promise peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. You only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray, Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Alice may come to eat the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. And just before we begin the prayers and final commendation of farewell. I'd like to thank the family for the way that they cared for their mother. It wasn't easy for them. They came and brought her to Dublin for her treatment every week. But it wasn't so much that, I suppose, as it's always the worry, the worry of the pain she may be suffering or whatever. So we thank you all for that. We extend our special sympathy to the girls abroad. This has been tough on them, but we're, they're with us in spirit. And we'd like to thank all who had little parts in, 
in our Mass, reading the, the Holy Scriptures, our prayers of the faithful, everything done so well. Thanks to Nor Noreen for the way she took, took that in charge, the liturgy today. We thank uh, our soloist for the beautiful music, and we thank Fabiola, as usual, does everything so thoroughly well and so gently. We thank you, Fabiola. We thank, uh, I don't know what name we give to me. It's more than, it's more than a video. It's, it's things he's transmitting all this out to the girls abroad. We thank you very, very much. Thank you all. So now, Father Chester, lead us in the prayer. You might like to stand. Dear family and friends, before we go our separate ways, let us take leave of our sister Alice. May our farewell express our affection for her. May it ease our sadness and strengthen our hope. One day, we shall joyfully greet her again when the love of Christ, which conquers all things, destroys even death itself. We pray in silence. May this water call to mind our baptism into Christ, who by his death and resurrection has redeemed the world. May Christ, who called you, take you to himself. May the angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. Into your hands, Father of mercies, we commend our sister Alice in the sure and certain hope that together with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. And we give you thanks for the blessings which you bestowed upon her in this present life. They're signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn toward us, listen to our prayers, and open the gates of paradise to your servant, and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and we are with you and with our sister Alice forever and ever. Amen. So in peace now, let us take Alice to her place of rest. <laughs> Yeah. 
social distancing please thank you if households would keep apart thank you
And as we bless this grave, may this water call to mind our baptism into Christ, who by his death and resurrection has redeemed the world. Because God has chosen to call Alice from this world to himself, we commit her body to the earth. dust and unto dust we will return but the Lord will raise up our bodies on the last day and make them like his own in glory for he's risen he's the firstborn from the dead so may the Lord embrace her in peace and raise her body up on the last day dear friends in reverence we pray to God who is the source of all mercies you raise the dead to life give Alice eternal life Lord of mercy. Lord, you consoled Martha and Mary in their distress. Draw near to us who mourn for Alice. Dry the tears of those who weep. Lord of mercy. Comfort us in our sorrow at the death of Alice. Let our faith be our consolation and eternal life our hope. Lord of mercy. We pray for all who are buried in this cemetery. We think of uh, Jimmy, Alice's husband, and all her deceased relatives and friends, that their joy be increased, that the light of glory shine on them, and that they may rest in peace. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Lord, you know the anguish of the sorrowful, and you're attentive to the prayers of the humble. Hear your people who cry out to you in their need and strengthen our hope in your lasting goodness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. We offer up a decade of the rosary as we think of the uh, mystery of the resurrection. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. 
May the prayers of Mary, the mother of God, who stood by the cross as her son was dying, help those who mourn for Alice and accompany all of us in our time of need. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace, and may her soul and the souls of all the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. The Lord be with you, and may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The funeral liturgy of Alice has ended. We go forth in peace. Thanks be to God. Family, um, we go to the gate and the people would like to file by just a social distance. Refrain from shaking hands, please. Um, it's difficult times for everybody and the family appreciates everybody that can out, especially in today's weather. Thank you.
Mr. Gardner for this show.